Hello and welcome back to Human Resource Machine, where uh, I can't do anything else. I have to work on optimizing Sorting Floor now because it's the only one I have left. Uh, so that's what we'll do today. Uh, I still believe that there's a way for me to optimize this solution right here into having um, 34 fewer commands. I'm convinced of it. Uh, and the initial... I have one idea that I want to try. If that doesn't work, then I don't know what I'll try. Something else, probably. I'll try to come up with something. But I feel like um, to get the steps, I might have to use a different um, algorithm that's not a bubble sort. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe uh, maybe it can optimize the bubble sort enough, but maybe not. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that to get the, the commands optimization thing, I have to use this bubble sort skeleton thing that I have set up here. Um, yeah, and my idea is as follows. Um, let's just let's just yeah, I'll, I'll just show you what I'm doing now. So right now I'm ju that's just putting everything down, and then I start comparing the first and second item, the negative, so I indicate that they, I have to swap something, then I swap it. Uh, and my idea now, and that, that just keeps happening, it's not very interesting, uh, and in the end I check if something has changed, and if something has changed, I start over with 0 and 1 here, and if nothing has changed, then I outbox everything, because it's in the right order, because nothing, nothing had to be swapped. But I think that I can get rid of that, Actually, let's, let's just try. Um, I have I have it copied copied aside. I can go go back to it if I need to. Um, if I don't do that at all, then I don't need any of that. And this will have to change as well, but that, that's something to worry about later. Uh, so basically, what uh, what I was thinking is, if I do if I do the same thing here, I this is zero, this is one. I do one minus zero, uh, and if that's negative, I need to swap. So I start the swapping thing, and then after I'm done swapping, I reset from here. I put it back to. 0 and 1, and then I just compare it again. Then I'll only ever reach the end of my of my list uh, when I don't swap anything. Because every time I swap, I go into this into this little piece of the code here, the swapping piece, and then I jump back up and reset it back to 0 and 1. So the only time that I will copy from what's referenced by 19 and it will be a zero is after I've run through everything without ever triggering this which means I've always jumped over this part and it was bumped up these two numbers until I reached the end of the list and grabbed zero so I need to outbox now uh, that means I don't need to jump here because that would be bad uh, that means that right now I have a zero in my hand, which I can just put down wherever I want. I can put it down here. Uh, then I can keep this code intact. And... Is that it already? I don't know, let's see. <laughs> I'm not sure now, but I feel like I feel like this should this should work now. Okay, so I compare zero and one. It's negative, so I swap. Yeah, so far so good. And now since I swapped, I jump back up and reset this, which is completely unnecessary now because it wasn't changed. But I I don't know that. I don't think there's a way for me to know that now. Uh, it's not negative, so I bump up both the counters, and I do this. This is in fact negative, 
so I swap. This would also have been unnecessary, but it's unavoidable, I think. <laughs> um, and reset again. And this time I subtract, it's positive, so I bump it up to 1 and 2. I subtract again, it's positive, so I bump it up. Okay, I grab the zero now. It is zero, so I save it here. And I start outputting, outboxing. Bump it up, grab the next one. This should work, I think. Next up I grab the zero, and that should not have changed. So let's just restart with the inboxing thing. Yeah. Alright, so let's speed it up. I think I think this should this should be a good solution. Wow, that was quick. I kind of half expected to run into some issue that would prevent me from, from doing this. But there isn't one, I think. Unless something goes wrong <laughs> now. Uh Steps-wise, it might be even worse, though. Um, actually, I don't know. No, it's probably worse. Because I restart every time. It has to be worse. <laughs> but it has the commands. I mean, it's, it's optimized, in a way. Uh, and that's all that really matters for now. But it's kind of boring. I could speed it up in editing, but it's already sped up so much. It would probably look really weird if I sped it up even more. So let's just have to deal with this. How far along are we? Uh, four. Ugh, that's still a while to go. Okay. Oh, and there's a 21 at the end. That's, that's, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna take a while still. So many steps. Yeah, it's horrible for steps. But yeah, that, that wasn't a concern. What's the next swap? It's 9762 is the next one. There we go. And then the next one is 9721, I think. Oh no, what did I do there? I, I, I lost track now. And now the 21 has to be <laughs> swapped all the way down, which is horrible. It's terrible. <laughs> it's really bad now. It's much, much worse. Because now it just... It resets after it swaps something instead of uh, just going through with it. So it doesn't swap... The previous one was much better for steps. Much, much better. Because it would have swapped the 21 in the first run through. And then the second run through again, and then every time basically it runs. And now it just it doesn't do that because it never it never gets that far. Is it correct now? I think it is. Yeah. Oh wow, this is bad, bad code. <laughs> But we got the optimization, yay, 32 and 1502. Uh, so yeah, I think I think that was a bit higher. I had I just had one change somewhere uh, that I that I it was a copy from like there's a there was a part with the before I decided to do this um, version. I uh, just at the end like uh, at the end of last session basically just after I stopped recording last session I found one optimization that was to move uh, there was a copy from 24 if I moved it outside of the jump uh, I could save like 10 steps there I think it was three six or something like that before but it wasn't it wasn't significant in a way in any way and it didn't save on commands I think or maybe it saved one command I'm not sure now but it was very very insignificant all right. So now, now what we want to do is <laughs> uh, 
now what we want to do is get this done in 714 steps. And I don't know how to do it. Um, I don't think I can implement a quick sword at all. That's going to be impossible because I can't maintain lists very well. It would be, it would require lots and lots of um, squares to save all that information, and I just don't think that's going to be feasible. Uh, after after I'm done here, I'm going to look up if there is a way to do it, like something like a quick sword at least. Um, but. What we could try is something a little bit different, where we don't we don't uh, do this. Basically, we skip this part. Um, we'll need a counter somewhere though, so we'll put that we'll put here again. Why not? Uh, no, don't bump it yet. And then. I want to copy that to zero and bump up the counter. Uh, yeah, and I don't think I can loop this now, but commands are not important, it's only about steps, so it doesn't matter. So after this, we go to the inbox. We copy that down somewhere. Let's put it here. Not that, a good, not that there's good reason to do it on 19, but I just will. I just want to. And then I do. Minus what's referenced by. Uh, do I need another counter? Oh, actually, I can do it like that, I think. So, the second number minus the first number. If that is negative, I want to swap, basically. Oh, that's gonna be tricky. Basically what I'm trying to do here is compare right away instead of just saving it down so that my list is like I save a lot of steps I think like that. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough though. Uh, so I would do 88 here and I would put the 33 down here. Compare it and because it's smaller I would put the 88 here and the 33 here. I would grab the 54 and do basically the same thing. I think. <laughs> so I would compare it with both and save it where it belongs. And then once I grab a zero, I just outbox everything. Ah, I'm not sure if I can do it like that though. I mean, I definitely can, I just need to figure out how. <laughs> Def it definitely works in theory. Um, okay, inbox, and I put it here. Then I go to the inbox and copy it here just temporarily. Because otherwise, I'll. Actually, I don't need to do that, do I? No, I, d I do need to do it. Because, yeah, I need to swap it, so I need to have it saved somewhere. Yeah, I need to put it somewhere. I can just, just yeah, I might just still put it there. I think that's not that's not bad for steps. If it's negative, that means that that should be there. Uh, if it's negative, it means that I want to copy from. I need another counter, I definitely need another counter. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I definitely need like another counter. Desperately, actually. Ok, 
copy from here and to here and then copy from here to here and if it's not negative I want to copy to as referenced by this. I just wanna, uh, 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 yeah, I need to see this run. and you need to jump away from this at, a, at that point. I wonder if that's much more efficient though. Probably is. <laughs> Basically if it's not negative in the right spot, so I want to grab the next one. And if it's negative, then it's not in the right spot, so I want to bump down I need a third count, I think. Ah, oh, man. Okay. I need a third count, I think, because I need to know how long my list is. And the, the end would be basically this, if I grab a zero. Then I go and outbox everything. So it's just indicated like that for now. Um, because I would bump down this and this, and then compare again. Uh, Basically, if this is zero, I've compared with everything there is. <laughs> so I want to grab another item out of the inbox. Okay, so the issue with that now is that I don't know. I don't know where I'm at anymore. Like this gets bumped down to zero and one always now before it stops bumping. Actually, it bumps it to zero, zero, and then I go back up, grab something out of the inbox, save it, and then I always subtract zero, but I shouldn't subtract zero. I should subtract a counter, so I need to count somewhere else as well. Uh, I need a third thing. Let's put that here <laughs> to make it more confusing. So this is my the length of my string basically. Does that make sense? I don't know. So we bump it every time we grab something out of the inbox. Uh, 
something that isn't zero. And we'll just put this... Wait, 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 where am I? This is this jump, yeah. Uh, so we just put this up here. So we don't have to do it twice. Because now I would have had to bump in my hand and subtract a 20 from that. That would be, st that would be stupid. And the only thing I need to do... Is one, once this hits zero... Ah, uh, do I want to jump down with that? Would that save <laughs> things? No, I don't think... Well, whatever, we'll, we'll just do it here now. Uh, so what I'd want to do now is copy from 15, which is my... length of my string, how many items I have. I think I'm making a mistake somewhere. It feels like I am. <laughs> um, and I copy that to wherever that is. <laughs> Here? And also to here. Uh, bump it down one? I have no idea what I'm doing now. I just I wanna I, I don't know. This is very weird now. It's got too complicated. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, that was unnecessary, but it would it makes sense. It makes sense later, I think. Oh, the reference is wrong. That's that's what I was. Yeah, that's what I felt was wrong. <laughs> now I have two and one, and I'm gonna try try grabbing something at two, which is empty. Right? No, actually, no. That's right. That's crazy. It's right. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was weird. That was very weird indeed. I don't know. <laughs> uh, do we make this a new thing? Do I have a zero somewhere? I don't know. I don't remember. Let's put it... Am I using 23 yet? I don't think I am. <laughs> it's so hard to keep track without... <laughs> <laughs> proper documentation. Um, the only thing that's tough now is to break this. Because I'm counting up and I don't have a clear break thing because I'm never grabbing a zero. Which is bad, obviously. Um, how do I do this? I need to... That obviously should be 23. And if it's zero... <laughs> I don't know. If it's zero, just start from scratch. I have no idea. This is very weird.
I want to see it run. It's probably not working, but it might be good enough to... Oh, I forgot to bump. Uh, yeah, that should be good. I don't know. I don't know. This might not work. Or it might work. It's very weird. It's hard to tell for me <laughs> right now. Yeah, something went wrong. <laughs> I should have looked at it more. <laughs> I was looking at the time. Uh, it's almost time to end this episode. Because I'm not... I don't, it doesn't feel like I'm about to f finish anything here. Uh, where did I go wrong? Oh, oh. Since I'm, st yeah, since I'm comparing immediately now. <laughs> That's bad. Oh, that's, 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 that's not good. No, I don't think I can make this work then. I completely forgot about that little problem. Uh, being that it works fine for the first one. But I can't reset these. Fields. I completely forgot about that. So it works. I can put that, put down the C, bump up the counter thingy and this counter thingy, and then I put it here and here and bump it down. It's unnecessary for the first time, but whatever. Then I grab the L and uh, put it here. L minus C is positive. So I should copy the, the L and put it into the one spot. That's right. Okay, so that works. So why did it stop working then? Put the O down. Bump up the counter by one. Subtract. This should be one and two. Why is it? Why is it not one and two? What am I doing? <laughs> there should be... This is not inside the loop. I'm confused. <laughs> Why am I not doing this down here? Does this all work now? <laughs> okay, it doesn't. Why not? Okay, inbox. Ah, uh, it's not zero. I copy it down. Bump up 15. Copy from 15 and put it here. 
Put it here and bump it down one. Okay, that, that works. I'm confused. What if I don't do this? Wait, 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 wait. Ah, I didn't mean to. I, I wanted to step back because I didn't outbox everything. Uh, I need to see why. Okay, that's that's fine. It's zero, so I start over, grab something. Two. One, zero. Compared with the zero field, it's not negative. In the right spot. Grab a zero. It's not zero. So grab it. Oh, I just basically need to do instead of doing this, I'm doing this. Maybe. Wait, what? <laughs> what did happen? What happened now? <laughs> no, everything's going wrong. Uh, back, 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 back. Uh, Alright, what's happening? Oh, okay, no, that's wrong. <laughs> um, can I just do... Can I just reverse it? Because it's always negative. I had the logic backwards there. Okay, so the first one worked. We'll see how it, how it goes now. Okay, very good. Now the long one. Yeah, this is the end of the episode, <laughs> I think. Um, unless this somehow miraculously has the steps, uh, which it doesn't, pretty sure. Uh, but it, I feel like it should be closer. It feels more efficient somehow, maybe, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I don't know <laughs> if it actually is though. It might be though, I feel like I'm not cycling through the list as many times as I did before unnecessarily. Yeah, this feels pretty good. I don't know. It's probably not perfect. Um, at least it's working. The subtraction to see if I'm done is pretty rough. I could put the zero down, right? Maybe I should have a zero terminate again. Oh yes! <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Oh my god, that's such a good feeling. We're done, and green optimization aboard. Everything optimized. This is crazy. This is really crazy. I'm done. 
Oh man, I'm so happy. <laughs> this was a lot easier than I thought it would be. It really was. Man. And it's not a really a good solution, I think. It could be better, but I mean, it's it's under the limit, so I'm, I'm happy with it. There are a few really ugly optimizations, especially down here. And even further down. But yeah, this is it. Let's watch the end credits. End program. Let's see. Gear 42. Oh, Congratulations. Oh. You've really become an invaluable instruction follower. Yes, don't worry. Your job is safe. We've replaced you with this electric box. It's called a computer. It iterates through a list of simple instructions called a program. It has a small amount of memory to store data while processing, like tiles on the floor. It has inputs and outputs. Its simple instructions can be used together in infinite combinations to compute just about anything you can imagine. A truly efficient worker that never sleeps. It's going to change everything. Please take your things and enjoy whatever it is you people do out there. Congratulations. So I guess this is it, the end of my career, 42 years, and now I'm replaced by a box. Okay, that's interesting, <laughs> what's going on out here? Oh yeah, that's a pretty big robot. I look pretty happy, I guess. That all things considered, I think <laughs> could have been could have been a lot worse. And there we go, human resource machine. Ah, Alan Alan Blomquist, Kyle Gabler, Kyle Gray, Alan Blomquist, I guess, starring Alice, Betty, Carol. Oh, see, Carol is fine. Well, sort of. Boss man and boss lady. Translators. Well, I played in English, so. That's too many names to read. <laughs> Lots of special thanks here. I love this song. It's the title screen song. Oh, not anymore. This is really nice. I... I don't know. I really enjoyed this game. It was really hard, though. Career Milestone 6, another achievement. Oh, and that's the title song again. This is perfect. <laughs> oh man. I wish I could listen to this while coding. <laughs> or while, yeah, while actually playing the game. Not just out here. Uh, there are some things I can do still, but it's probably not worth an entire episode. There are some achievements left. Let's look at this real quick. Uh, I, I never really looked at them, I just know that I don't have all of them. Um, ask all bosses to tell you more? That's not very interesting. Inefficient, solve any puzzle with at least four times the number of steps uh, required by the speed challenge. Solve any puzzle with at least four times the number of commands required by the size challenge. I guess we could do that. At least some of that stuff. If I could just go back. Can I do it here? I assume it would be easiest to go. Oh, tell me more as part of the achievement. You can put together a list of commands over there on the right side. I press the big green play button to watch what happens. It's like truly full of surprises. I've been here 24 years. Yes, thank you. One day you can be just like me. But for now, back to work. Alright. Uh, because down here, the six commands, six steps. But I can't, I don't have any commands here that would be inefficient. Ah, no, it's not. Oh, I won't do that on camera. It's not interesting enough. So, yeah, this is it for Human Resource Machine. I really, really enjoyed this. I'll keep an eye out for similar games and give them a shot. And if I'm not really, <laughs> if I'm not lazy, I might go through my uh, episodes and maybe reference them with the corresponding levers. 
so that you can tell what I'm doing in each of them, but I'm not sure if this will happen or not. Either way, I love this song. Uh, either way, I really hope you enjoyed this series. I had a lot of fun with it, uh, so that's really all that matters anyway. But if you do enjoy it too, that obviously is nice. And I'll see you soon with something new. Bye bye.